For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember, I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. And the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. So, Aquarius. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands. Now, this can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. She could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um, if we're not talking about an actual person, it stands for getting a lot accomplished. Uh, it often focuses on work or career. Now, the queen is a positive, uplifting energy. Uh, when she stands for a woman in your life, a female person in your life, she's a very good friend. She's solidly on your side. Now, now even though she's 100% on your side, but she may seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, if you were trying to conceive in the recent past, it would have been a positive sign that it could have happened for you. Now, this queen, it could be someone that you know, your mother, your sister, or someone that you just met, but they were, they were a part of your, your recent past. And it's paired with the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups, it indicates a woman. So I don't know if this is the same person or another female energy that was in your life at this time. Now, this person, this woman, she would have been helpful to you just as the, as the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen reminds us to bring love and compassion to our work. And that this is possible even if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things were probably better in your working world when this card appears in a reading. They're probably better than you think or better than you realize at this time. And you just needed to think positive. Now, these two cards, like I said, they're about females. So you must have had a lot of maybe female friends that were very supportive of you at this time. Or you have a lot of siblings that are women. Uh, or something like that type. Because um, you had a lot, a lot of strong female energy. Loving, supportive types in your recent past. And so we move on to the present the Three of Wands. Now with this, you're likely to find that your finances are going much better. In fact, this can be a month that your actual proverbial ship comes in. You're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. Now you may be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. But overall, the Three of Wands, it refers to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts are being seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So pat yourself on the back and give yourself some credit. Now the Three of Wands is paired with the Queen of Pentacles. Now this card... It can indicate that you will be spending time, money, and energy on your home. You're going to try to get it to be more comfortable. Maybe you'll be fixing it up, uh, getting ready for the winter months uh, to make it more warm, to guard against the cold. Uh, who knows? It just says that um, when you get the Queen of Pentacles, it's more than likely about home. 
and this is a good thing, provided that you don't take on too much expenses and too much debt. Now, people will be looking to you for insight and or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do that. Now, this is a time period when you can get a whole lot of things accomplished. And with these two cards paired together, the three of wands, your finances are going really well now, much better than you um, probably expected, or they will be soon. Um, it's going to be a month that your ship finally comes in. So you'll be feeling very strong with a good reason. Uh, so this card is paired with the Queen of Pentacles. So with all the finances coming in, you'll probably, probably be inclined or feel encouraged to work on the home and get it more comfortable for you and your family or if it's just yourself. Um, because this is a time period with the Queen of Pentacles that you can get a whole lot accomplished. And that's going to be the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have a Four of Pentacles. Now this card can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations much longer than it is healthy or realistic for you. Uh, when this card appears in a reading, it's a definite sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging on to. As you can see in the picture, uh, that's what this man is doing. Um, so look carefully at what you're holding, clinging on to, uh, whether it's others that are clinging on to you in an unhealthy way. So relax. In general, the Four of Pentacles, it points to anxiety and fear about money and or grasping, holding on too tight to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now the key here is to try to realize that being anxious and holding on too tight, it's not going to bring you security. And this card is paired with a seven of swords. Now this points to someone behaving with less than ethical intentions intentions. It sometimes also means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you could be right. Uh, if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life or someone else's garbage, um, unless it's that of your children who have given you cause for concern, you need to resist that impulse because everyone deserves privacy with these two cards paired together the four of pinnacles it's about holding on too tight to people money or situations longer than it's healthy or realistic for you so try to realize that being anxious and grasping does not bring security and it's paired with the seven of swords so someone is behaving with less than ethical intentions. So if it, either that's you or someone that you know is doing that to you. Or you could be doing that to someone. Now it could be because you're, you fear of losing something because the Four of Pentacles, it states or it shows that you're holding on too tight. Uh, then it's healthy for you. So you might be trying to dig into certain situations or matters out of fear or anxiety. Um, so you're looking into situations where you probably should avoid that. Um, it's not really healthy for you. And it could cause a problem if you're the one doing this or if someone is doing that to you with the Seven of Swords. They're prying or you're prying. And it's causing some anxiety. 
And that's going to be a challenge. Now, we move on to the outcome. We have the Tower card. Now, the Tower card is trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to always roll with the changes. It's likely that some people or situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they're probably no longer there for you in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change is the nature of life. So if we try to prevent this change, it's like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building castles in the air, this possibly could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now, just keep in mind, that's only going to be a problem if you let it. Because you definitely will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in reality, too. And the Tower card is paired with the Star card. Now, you're likely to find yourself feeling rather inspired, and you will be feeling rather more hopeful about the future than you have in quite some time. You will also feel more confident that your needs, whether these are emotional or financial needs, or both, they're going to be met at this time. So nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but... It's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This is also a spiritual card, so you could be feeling spiritual or your spirituality is at a peak. Um, you'll be feeling at one with all of creation. So just keep in mind, it's not a common feeling. It's not a common feeling. So make sure you embrace it and you savor it. And with these two cards paired together, the Tower card, it's about holding on too tight to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You always have to remember to roll with the changes. Something that you probably were trying to work on or build, it may come crashing down. But you, you should know by now that's only a problem if you let it be. You can always replace them to more realistic and reachable dreams and goals. And being that it's paired with a star card, once you do that, you'll be feeling even more inspired than ever. You'll feel more confident and your needs will be met whether they're emotional or financial. So these are rare feelings. And so you want to make sure to enjoy it, embrace it, and savor it. And that's going to be the outcome. So Aquarius, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, if that's what you care to do, I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.